Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna try to identify fake Pokemon Diamond versions out there. There are sealed ones, there are complete in complete in box types of Pokemon Diamond version out there that are actually fake. They're becoming really really good at copying the main games. And let's see what are the differences to the actual game. I have a legitimate copy here that we could compare at. And let's try to see if we could identify it consistently at the end, okay? Um, let's go through it. Okay, so let's start with the legit one. You, if you could tell what's the legit one between the two. It is the left one. It's the one I owned for a long time already. So you could see it's got the holographic beam back on it let's see nintendo wi-fi nintendo ds the different colored one same as the pokemon pearl if you watch my pokemon pearl version comparison there everyone we got the r the r in there is centered you can read it very clearly. It's bolded. You got the Nintendo logo. And there's no hollow on the Alga itself. No hollow in here. Some hollow in there. Let's go to the side. Diamond version. Again, the R is centered. And there. Nintendo DS. It's different colored again. And at the back, there's no holographic. It's only in the side and in the front. So let's stay in the front for now and we can identify that the R is centered, there's white borders, and there's like white stripes in here, like a light going through the alga. If you could see that clearly. And at the back, Chimchar, Turtwig, and Piplup. You could see the official Nintendo Power Players Guide. It's easy to read. Available at your nearest retailer. Although nowadays, I don't think you could find any Pokemon stuff in the, at your nearest retailer. Oops. Alright, let's see. We got Turtwig versus Piplup. Cancel. The camera's shaking a little bit. Nintendo seal. The number in there. Inside, we got the Game Boy Advance game holder, Nintendo DS. Oops, where's my cartridge? Here you go. This is the legitimate one. Okay. Try to remember all the characteristics of this one and we'll see. Let's see if you could focus that R. Very tiny. I don't think we could use that as comparison, but you could tell it's an R right there. N-T-R-A-D-A-E. Nintendo is black, I mean, a white and red. The seal. Nintendo DSTM. So it's the squares are black and gray on this one too. The back. NTR pap and CO310 DAF9. So that's the cartridge. The manuals that should be coming with it. Let's get the Nintendo log in there. Is the booklet. Got the instruction booklet printed in the USA. The Nintendo DS, black and gray. Health and safety precautions booklet. 
Nintendo Power subscription. And the Wii collectible poster. I think this is the Wii Battle Revolution. Yeah. And Nintendo Wi-Fi connection instruction booklet. So that's what's inside of the Pokemon Diamond. Now we're gonna try to figure out this fake one. The one, the major ta telltale sign is that Nintendo logo on it. The original one never had this logo. Okay. All right, let's open it up. It's it got the Y fold in there too, so can't really tell by the Y fold itself. And it's got the holographic as well. Um, we'll do a side by side comparison. Let's open it up. Okay. So, first of all, We'll start at the top. That Nintendo Wi-Fi connection should have that font, that funky font in there. Okay. And this one actually got the copy right, the black and gray, but the TM is a misprint again, much like the Pro. But the squares, you can't really go by that because they got it right. So it look like it's a little bit more bolded. So you gotta pay attention to that. That's a telltale sign. The holographic, it looks like it's really thick. This one is, um, it's more like circles. If you can see that. This one is more like scattered. This one's more like circles. You can see that. It's darker too. Here's the comparison. The fake one is darker than the lighter one. And the alga looks like a dark blue. Alright, let's see. The R. The R looks centered enough here. The original, the fake. So that one was done better too for this fake one. And the Pokemon logo, really can tell there's a little bit difference in the yellow, yellowness of Pokemon. This one's like more like dark yellow, it's more like more like yellow green. Let's see if we can find any more differences. So the Pokemon company here is not in bold like this one. But the logo looks the same. Yep, exactly the same. Now the ESRB rating. Oops. The rating usually you could tell. Let's see if I could focus that. The R. It's not really legible R there. So it looks like it's too big. And the R here. R here. Eh, not quite a difference enough where you, you'll be able to tell in the picture. But the font looks like it's thinner here. Content rated by. That's it. That's all I could find that uh, would be a major difference. Darker color, darker color. The alga looks pretty much scanned like the same. It's just in darker color. All right, let's go to the side. The black and gray, they caught that as well. Now their A looks suspicious there. 
because our diamond here is like a small A. Or maybe it's just because of the font that they use. It's thinner, it's not in bold. The R, the R is thinner too. Okay, let's go to the back. Oh, and the holographic, looks like a, even the fake one got, caught the holographic there. Only on the blue side. Looks like the black one doesn't have a holographic. But on the original, even the black side has holographic, as you can see. That you could tell. It's really dark on the fake one. Okay, um, let's start at the top. The fake one. Again, thinner font, thinner font. Thinner font in here. The, the www.nintendo.com looks like it's difficult to. Eh, not really. Can't really tell. Let's see. The font is just thinner all the way through. And the picture. Yeah, this one looks like it's a pretty well-made fake one. See, you even copied that. So you have to be really vigilant when you're trying to buy this. The Pokemon Company. So you could tell in here that it's sort of scanned. It's like faint. Like this one. Okay, barcode, exactly the same. Looks like it's scanned from the main copy. And the fake one looks like it's a fading number there. I like this one, the original one. Okay. That's it. Otherwise, it looks like a really, really good copy. If they didn't have that Nintendo seal on it. Some people even try to remove the seal because you could separate it. So people could sell you the sealed one for like hundreds of dollars. See? It's just a tape over the seal. Okay, so watch out for that scam as well. Alright, let's open this one up. See what's inside. Pokemon Diamond. Manual. It doesn't have the Nintendo Power series there. And it doesn't have the poster. And it's a recycled. It doesn't have the holder there. But the manual looks exactly the same. This one's lighter. The original is darker. Again, light blue. Dark blue. You got the color right in there. The back is just lighter blue. Lighter black printed in the USA so really if you're looking at it in the picture without the comparison it's gonna be difficult to tell for the manual at least looks like it's the same page as this one's up to page 60 page 60 yep this one just another lighter color from the original one other than that it's going to be difficult to, to really tell. This one, forget it. We have a different one. I have health and safety precautions booklet. This one looks like a more... From a different print run. They copied a different print run. 
Okay, so case. See if you could identify a different color there. Not really, because I think this one used to look like that when it was not opened yet. So you can look at the quality. They always have some sort of that in there. Like a glue left over. The original have a straighter glue all the way through. See? Fake, original, straight. Okay. Case. It doesn't have the recycle for the original one. And let's see if the seal is there. Patent pending. Yeah, it says that too in there. Model, NTR. NTR-006 for the fake one all right let's go through the cartridge I got four different versions of cartridge in here. Original one has a red and white Nintendo logo in there. This one was from the fake box here. Now you could tell that the red and white logo is it's not the same. It's just white in there. And the blueness didn't have as much white in there. The R rating is faint on the fake one. So that's a major telltale sign in there. It's just this for this one. And the back, it says CO310. See if I could. There you go, CO310, that's the original. This one has a different type of color, C2901. So it, the chip says similarly, it's just a different color. I don't know if it's just because of age, but this one looks like a lighter green. The original looks like a darker green. See if it's a diff the same quality. As the other fakes. Yep. But that's really nitpicking. It's gonna be difficult to tell. This one CO8F8 is fake. CO3-10 is original. Now on all of the cartridge of Pokemon Diamond, their NTR005 pad bend in there looks really thinner by a small amount. You can see now. These are all fake. C2901. So maybe you could just go by that chip number there too. So you don't have to pay like the original, original price for these fakes. All right, so these are other fakes. Let's see. So this one, came from the the brand new one brand new fake no red re e no nintendo red and white in there now these two are really pretty good copies of the cartridge 
Let's start with this one. As you could tell, on the left side is the is the um, original. The right one is a fake. You could see some sort of like curved on the writing in there. It's like it was scanned. It's not crisp like the original one. You could see like it looks like it was scanned. And the Pokemon company in there is too thin. This one's bold. The Pokemon company is bold. Other than that, that's really the main difference that I could tell. It's just the quality of it. Okay, and this other fake one. Again, it's got the quality in there. But the color of Pokemon Diamond looks like it's a really close version of that. So you can't go by that. You can go by the font of the Pokemon Company. And also that N-T-R-A-D-A-E is not in the middle. It's too thin and it's not in the middle. It should be in the middle. Other than that, you can't really tell. That's really the main difference, so. Okay. And that's it for the differences that I could find on the fake and the regulars. So, now the next part is the test. Now I'm gonna show you different pictures of Pokemon Diamond. Let's see if you could tell if it's a fake or if it's an original. That's it for today. I hope you found the video helpful and if you found any more differences that could be helpful in other people's uh, way of identifying fake versus original, just let me know in the comment section and I'll add it in the description. Um, have a good day!